Hey guys, my name is Rose, and this is gonna be uh, a reading up a reading update. This is gonna be um, the finale for like this year because I'm still currently like reading stuff, but I'm taking a more like relaxed thing until like next year. I might do another set of videos where I like next year where I have like a bunch of books I really want to read too. So um, yeah. But this is gonna be the end, um, because I finished all the books I wanted. Plus, another one. I'm currently reading the uh, the Vampire Diaries series right now. And then I'm gonna be giving those books to my sister as soon as I finish all the books, which is a lot. <laughs> but, yeah. So I had already read, uh, the, the, the Golden Compass, the Cell Knife, and the Amber Spyglass, which is over there. I'm not sure if... At the last update, I've read this one yet. But this was a really quick book. It was only 50 pages, but it still took me like a couple days because I was only reading like a couple pages at a time. Like it was, like I couldn't, maybe I couldn't get into it or it was really dense. And I think I'm actually going to get rid of this book. This, the, uh, because it doesn't really extend the story in those books in any way. I mean, you kind of get a glimpse of what her life is like afterwards, but it's like, it kind of tells you in that book, in the end of the actual, like, trilogy book, what her life is that be like afterwards. So it's like, okay, um, I don't, so I, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting rid of this. Only reason I might not is because it has this really cool map, which I really like. Which is like, I'm not sure if this is what like the real Oxford looks like, but this is what her Oxford is, at least, so. I've never been to Oxford, I've never even been out of this country, to be honest. I want to be, but I need to do stuff for that, I need to get a passport and stuff. And I don't got money for passports and all that jazz right now. But yeah, so I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of this one, so that's that. And then last update I said I wanted to try to finish all all of these. I think I had maybe started this one or no. Yeah, I think I had started this. I was either in this one or in this one. And um so I finished this one I think in like four or five days and then three days. And then three days, and then three days, and then I started this the same day I finished this one, and I finished this that same day. So, cause this this one is just this one is like this. So it's like it's only like a hundred and sixty or something. Yeah, it's a hundred and sixty, and it took me like barely any time to f finish this. So I actually read all of these really quick like two weeks total probably around two weeks ish for all all of these books or something and then and I started on this book after that um and this was a really nice book this is let me see if I can find the this is about uh, a disease. Syna... Synastasia? Maybe? This one? Where people can, like, see color or, like, some people, like, taste colors and numbers and that kind of stuff. And this was a really interesting book. And it was really nice to get this little, nice little book. It was a little bit hard to get into, but yeah. The last two books that I, that was in this project, I am, I probably read really fast because of, um, I went on, like, three trips, two of them were, like, two hours drive there, two hour drive back, two, two of them were like that, and then the last one was, like, five, six hour drive there, and then five, six hour drive back is, like, was longer, so this one I think I finished in, in two or three days, something like that.
and that and then this big hunker I think this is like 500 pages which I'm surprised I finished it so fast but it was probably because I actually went and um oh let me say um so the, these are um I don't know what this series is called but this is the first book for this one is Blue is for Nightmares by Lori Faria. I, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, Stol Stolars. I'm probably not pronouncing that name right, but yeah. And then these are all the books in that series. Okay, and then this one is A Mango Shaped Space by Wendy Mass. And I have um the books in the description box too with like the name of the books and the uh author and stuff too so you can and then so then i went to the fifth wave by rick uh yancy and this was a really good book i really like cassiopeia it makes me want to watch the movie because i want to see how like she moves in the movie and how like things are like that in the movie and i thought this was a standalone book it's not it's a trilogy of course, because all books I like just end up being series, which kind of makes me mad, but it's like, this is why when I find a series that I like that I'm like, okay, I should probably stop reading it and then just get all the books and then read them, because like, like series for me, if I really get into it, it's like this, where I read it all in like a couple weeks, like the... The Vampire Academy series was like that. Um, the Vampire Diaries, I'm being pretty slow with. I'm almost done with... Like, the first two books are in one book, so I'm almost done with that. I think I'm, like, 100 pages away from being done with that. So, but I'm taking that one slower. And I haven't been able to read the past week, so, like, whatever. But, so, yeah, this is a trilogy, at least. I, th I think it was just a trilogy. From what and now I really want to get the other books. And find out what happens in the other books. Because I really like this story. Although lots of twists and turns happens. And um, I was like not expecting it. But I mostly read this because the first few pages I like really fell in love with Cassiopeia. Because she is probably why I read this book. I really love her. I really love Nugget too in the end. Like so like Nugget is a great guy. And this book so yeah and then I read this book which I'm also actually that I'll be getting rid of with this book which this is the Lemonade War by Jacqueline Davis Davies I don't know this this one took me forever to finish like this is only like 170 ish pages but I read it basically 20 pages a day so it took me forever ever to finish this short book and I, I didn't really get into it and it wasn't really that interesting and I should have just stopped it because like probably about a, a third of the way through I knew I was gonna get rid of it pretty much but I was just like I just want to finish it so I finished it and I'm getting rid of it along with this book most likely like this book I'm still kind of like okay I'm like 80% kind of get rid of 20% I kind of want to keep it because I have the other books but like probably not get rid of that too so yeah so that's all the books I read this year so far um and I'm not gonna do any more like reading updates because I just want to take reading a little slow right now and that next year I might do like a whole goal thing and start with like 10 books or something because next year I think I'm going to do some sm uh, smaller books. Like, I'm going to probably read the um, a series of unfortunate events. I've read maybe one or two of the books, but I have all thir 13, I think, is the name, is how many there are. So, um, and they were back like, when I was in elementary school, probably. So, yeah. So, like, if I do do videos, like, would you like videos like this again? Like... 
having reading goals and like trying to get them because I don't know it might be nice to do that so I hope you guys like this video I really like my uh, eyeshadow today it's like super kind of a grungy greeny with some greeny gold on top and like a brown wing I really like it I think it turned out so pretty but yeah I hope you guys liked the video and um um have a great day um bye